You need strength? Put a smile on your face. Amen? Bring it on. <laughs> We're going to be continuing with uh, the story of David and Goliath. <laughs> and David, uh, he's a tough little guy. Amen? We need to be some tough little people for uh, for Jesus. Amen? Amen. But he says we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Amen. Amen? So praise God. God is good. And we can do all things through him. So we want to welcome all those that are joining us right now. Happy Sunday morning to you. Pastor Jose and Patricia from New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben in Marfa, Texas. Amen. Lord. So we want to welcome you, those that are joining us by audio, video, whatever. We want you to be a part of it. <clears throat> and uh, we always ask you to uh, prepare yourselves to receive. And this morning I was reading in their Facebook, and this uh, sister wrote this, and I know I'm always telling you to prepare yourselves. And she wrote this, and it's from somebody else, and I want you to hear this. So God's, God feeds your life, your future, and your destiny in your church. The wisdom of the Spirit will speak through the voice of a familiar, that's familiar to you. One predominant voice would be your pastors. Many people come to church and walk out with the same problem they walked in oh with. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. Because they did not hear. Remember, Jesus says, be careful what you hear. Yes. For the measures of power and virtue that come back to you is based on your hearing. Mm -hmm. As you go into the house of the Lord today, church <laughs> to worship I believe you will hear from God that what you need whatever you need he's going to share it with you he's going to give it to you but he's got to give it through somebody that's familiar with you he's got to give it to people because that's all we are all we have is people yeah. his body is people amen but we got to be ready to receive we got to have an attitude attitude to receive we got to have a positive attitude Yes. Not an attitude of just shutting ourselves down and trying to solve yourself. If you do, you're already defeated. Yes. Amen. But I want to encourage you to be open to what God yes. has for us. Amen. Amen. Because I guarantee you, <laughs> this is not from me. This is from him. But he's using me to bring it to you. Amen. So praise God. Amen. So happy Sunday morning again to you. And we also want to let you know that we have our first Spanish class for uh, Sunday night. <laughs> Spanish class, okay. Yes, hallelujah. So prepare yourselves. All those bienvenidos a todos los que nos estén escuchando. Esta noche, por esta noche, vamos a empezar las clases o servicios hispanos. Amen. Aquí nos acompañen. So, el Pastor José y, y Patricia. Now, prepare yourselves. Grab your Bibles, grab your swords. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do some battle. Amen. Say it like you mean it, church. There it is up there. I can't miss it. Uh -huh. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking about it. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is accepted. And I'll never be the same. Amen. Hallelujah. This is for me. And a church alive is. Amen. 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 I don't care if you come from across the street <laughs> or wherever you happen to be coming from. Oh, praise God. God is worth the drive. Amen. 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 Praise God. We got to make time for Him. Amen. We are going to continue part two on facing your giants. It's coming. <laughs> facing your giants. And you know, on a daily basis, Amen. you have giants. Amen. Yes. Everywhere you go, you have giants. Amen. We're going to talk about David and Goliath, the giant he faced. But we face giants on a daily basis. Amen. Facing your giants. Keep going. We're just going to fly through some of these. Okay. Go to the next one. Okay. So many giants here. Selfishness, unforgiveness, oh, rejection, failures, pride, uh -huh. criticism, fears, public opinion, peer pressures, carelessness. Some of these things. You know, we, well, I'm not even going to bring that up. But you have giants on a daily basis. We're gonna our text is going to be in First Samuel chapter 17. Go to the next slide. This is where I want to be. Yeah, they'll come. 
Oh, you, yeah. You can guarantee that. We used to yes. say that. Guarantee. Uh-huh. The French <laughs> they'll, chef. They, they, they'll come. <laughs> you, you're not exempt. If, they, uh -huh. if they're not visiting you, uh, <clears throat> you need to get born again. Uh -huh. <laughs> it won't bother you <laughs> as long as you're in the world. Uh -huh. But when you try to come out of the world, look out. He's going to give you a hard time. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they will come to fight. They ain't going to come and shake your hand. That's right. <laughs> they will send their best. They just go, little wimps. They're going to send their best. You know, you notice that the Philistine army, they stayed back and they sent their hero down. Goliath came down and he challenged the armies of God. Yes. Amen. Israel. He says, Come on down. Send me somebody. Uh -huh. I want to fight somebody. <laughs> army was back there. Israeli army was back there. Nobody coming down. They uh -huh. were standing up there. Mm. <laughs> They try to intimidate you. Let me see what I wrote here. Threaten you, frighten you, scare you, terrorize you, bully. Just be a bully. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. I've been there. I know. Huh. I will say nothing. They really come along. The home is brain. You know, we talked yes. about Legion last week, about Legion. Yeah. We're talking about 2,000 pigs out there oh, feeding. Lord. And uh, huh. when he says, ask permission for Jesus to cast them on the pigs, uh -huh. they need a body. They don't. Don't let them get, don't give them yours. That's right. That's <laughs> go. Right. He says, go. You know, uh -huh. notice when he told, uh, uh, was it uh, Peter? When he told him to walk on water, mm -hmm. he said, I want to be where you are. He said, all he said was come. come. This time, all they told Legion was says, go. go. Yeah. That was enough. That's how powerful the words of God are. Amen. Amen. He says, go. And they Amen. went. And you notice that uh, there was no pigs left. Yeah. <laughs> The demons got into every one of them because what happened? Their attitude changed. Mm -hmm. Everything changed about them. They was nice and peaceful, just gazing. Or grazing. Or grazing, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> or gazing. Yeah, they was gazing. <laughs> and next thing you know is they're mad. Uh -huh. They're possessed. They're gone. They're crazy. And they went over the cliff. Mm -hmm. And not one of them stayed back. Mm -hmm. So be careful. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I need to learn more about farm animals here. <laughs> well, I need to learn more about farm animals. They're coming all forms. Yes. And we talked about family, oh, friends, co workers. Oh, yeah. All kinds that come. Oh, and the enemy will use anybody. You yeah. notice that the, the, the word of God says. If you'll use anybody that's available. Yeah. Well, that's the enemy true. is the same. Yeah. You'll use anybody that's anybody. available to him. So ah. let's not make ourselves available to him. Yeah. Yeah. But uh -huh. sometimes it's family, friends, co-workers, uh, anybody. And you better recognize it. It means get in the word, get in the spirit. Yeah. Because the word is going to set you free. The word is going to give you a spirit of discernment. So that you can know the right from wrong. And you better recognize him. <laughs> you better recognize him. You know the devil's not going to come in this little, little uh, hot stuff suit. You know devil suit. Okay. Uh. So. Just, just beware. Now you can go back to a scripture we're going to read. Mm. Go backwards. There you go. So he says. We stand, stand. Jesus also told us. That as long as we live in this world, we will have, we will face these giants. Uh -huh. And he says, I have told you these things so that in me, you might have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, problems, giants. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Amen. He says we can do the same thing. Okay. But we have to make a change. So praise God. And we're flying through. So be encouraged. Child of God, you can live successful Amen. And, and live in the middle of all this thing, yeah. facing your giants on a daily basis. Because he told us, as you read the word, you know, don't ever say, God never speaks to me, and you never open your word or the Bible. Uh -huh. Because he wants to talk to you on a yes, daily basis. We're kind of flying through this. David taught us how to fight. Yes. We got to be battle ready on a daily basis. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Not just once in a while. You don't go build yourself up and uh, say, well, I, um, let me study and see how we do this. No. <laughs> you got to be battle ready Amen. on every occasion. 
Know the weapons that are available to you. Uh, know to keep the body, I mean, the uh, armor of God on. He never says take it off. He says put on the oh, right. armor yes. of God. That's right. You don't go into battle with half armor on. Half armor. <laughs> you put the whole armor yes. on. Amen. <laughs> oh, praise That's God. Good. Join the battlefield called this battlefield called life. And be confident that God is with you. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. He's always with you. <laughs> praise God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We talked about this. He says, Don't say, Why me, Lord? But say, but sent me. Mm -hmm. I want to go. You know, when 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 uh, when you follow Jesus, when you follow the word, and you have a relationship with him, it's just like uh, David. He hears this giant, and he went up there to bring lunch. We get, getting way ahead of myself. He mm -hmm. went there to bring lunch to his brothers, mm -hmm. but he's hearing this giant, and he's hearing these things, mm -hmm. and he's ready to fight. Yes. <laughs> He said, wait a minute. You uncircumcised. <laughs> wait a minute. You know, yeah. I says, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. So don't say, but what me? Always taking a back step. <laughs> but he took a, a step forward and says, yes. I'm ready for him. Mm -hmm. Bring him on. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank Take you, Lord. Heart. <laughs> Praise God. God is not looking for the perfect. What well, it says, uh, David did it, so can we. Mm -hmm. God's not looking for the perfect people. Know this church. He's not looking for the perfect people. But those that are available and want to take yeah. a step of faith, right. just like yeah. David did. He yeah. shows us all kind of heroes. Yes. And they had problems. They had faults. But still, these they stood out. They, they, they took a step of faith. Yes, they did. And we can take a step of faith on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. Now, we're going to use some Bible stories. And we're going to refer to David and Goliath or a few, a few, a few, a few stories here. Amen. Anyway, amen. anyway, anyway uh, The world says you're not good. The world says you're no good. The world says all kind of negative things about you and you're not qualified. Right. Sometimes even family says nice things about you. <laughs> <laughs> but what does the word of God say? Yeah. You need to know this so that you can build up with the right thing. Yeah. I'm not looking for somebody to qualify me because I've been qualified by the best. Amen. <laughs> you need to know this. He's qualified you. He's called you. He's equipped you with the best. Mm -hmm. So I'm not looking for people's opinions or for people to approve me when I've always been approved. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Praise Glory. God. Uh, go to the next slide. Keep going. We're going to have a keep going. slide. Man. Yeah, we got a few nice slides for you just to keep you uh, <laughs> keep going. Okay, you can, you can hold it out. Let's use this one. Are you struggling in life? It could be finances, could be family, could be uh, feeling alone, or something else you're having a hard time with. Pray, ask the Lord for help. Just do it. Mm -hmm. yes. These are giants coming against you. Amen. You know, these are giants coming against you. If you don't, you know, we we start, we train. He's always preparing us. Uh, don't see yourself a failure. Don't see yourself a loser. See yourself a learner. Yes. Because we're learning on a daily basis as we walk our walk of life. As we fulfill the mission trip that God has set us on. We're learning. Amen. So, you know, hey, these things may start troubling you. But then again, when you get the word in you, you're going to get the truth. And it's going to set you free from yes. all these Amen. things. Amen. I know what to do. And when you hear somebody going through the same things, you can say, you know what? I used to be there. And you don't come against them because you've been there. Mm -hmm. You know, all of us have awesome testimonies. God needs to, you need to share it at the, at the time when Jesus uh, tells you, share your testimony. Amen. And where God brought me from to where I am now. Yes. Amen. Instead of putting people down, mm. they already beat down. Oh, yeah. They don't need that. They need somebody to lift them up. Amen. Yeah. He said he wants us soaring with eagles, not amen. scratching down at the bottom, you know, like the prodigal son. Right. But he wants us set free. Amen. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Numbers 13. Keep going. Numbers. Keep going. Oh, got to read that. Back, back one. <laughs> you may be up 
against a giant today. But don't focus on how big your giant is. Focus on how big yes. your God is. Amen. Yes. On a daily basis, know yeah. that there's yeah. problems. Know yeah. there's giants out oh, there. Yeah. But let's not talk about the problem mm -hmm. because that's what the Israeli army was doing. Mm -hmm. They were focused oh, on yeah. this big giant, yeah. this big problem. They never <laughs> once talked about how big their God that's is right. until right. David came around. Uh -huh. You're talking about a little shepherd boy. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, the world would say, you're a kid, get, get lost. <laughs> He brought the word. He brought the courage. Yes, he, he brought did. everything. Yeah. Victory. Victory. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory. Yes, he did. So, Numbers 13. Keep going. Huh. Numbers 13. 12 spies. Yep. Oh, mean, yeah. Says God says, spoke to Moses. Says, send men to scout the country of Canaan. Says that I am giving to the people of Israel. Send one man from each tribe. That has uh -huh. been tried yeah. and is a leader in the tribe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so he did. Uh -huh. <laughs> he said 12. So, long story short, this is what happened. <laughs> and there we saw giants and the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sights as grasshoppers oh. and we were in their sights in their sight so the problem is what you saw and the problem is in you you saw yourself <laughs> not good enough yeah. when God says I already gave you the land uh -huh. go spy it yeah and they should have went encouraged yes and in strength and say this is our land you guys get out of here. <laughs> We're coming. Just have a David attitude and say, uh -huh. you guys are here for now, but you get out of here. Amen. You don't belong here. That's they didn't go that way. Uh -uh. <laughs> they saw themselves as grasshoppers. grasshoppers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, Joshua and Caleb, so there's ten negative reports, ten bad reports, two good reports. Two good ones. <laughs> Joshua and Caleb. Mm -hmm. This is long story short, this is what, what they says. It says don't be afraid of those people. Right. Why? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have them for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have no protection. Uh -huh. And not only that, God is on our side. That's right. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Is God is on God. our side. So what are these problems? What are these giants coming against you? Yeah. Who cares? God is on our side. He said he never leads you, no for six years. Right. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. So why are you afraid? You're looking at the problem uh -huh. and you're focused on the problem and since January we've been talking about this rethink mm -hmm. reteach yourself not to speak the problem but speak the word yes. think feel words Amen. because life and death are in the power of the tongue yes. and you're going to speak it it's going to come from uh -huh. you uh -huh. but you got to say the right things Amen. so he says <laughs> they have no protection God is on our side. Don't be afraid of them. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. So the people around you, you're around daily. What are they saying? Oh, boy. Because you're going to hear it. Oh, yeah. And you're going to see it. Yeah. So what are you doing? Are you renewing your mind? Mm -hmm. If you're not renewing your mind, you're hearing it. And you're going to let it come in. And it's going to get in you. Uh -huh. And you're going to meditate on it. Uh -huh. And when you meditate on it, it's going to bring you down. Yeah. And you're going to start thinking and doing like the world. So yeah. you got to be careful. Yes. The people around you, what are they doing? What kind of report do they have? Do they have a positive report? Mm -hmm. Do they have a negative report? You ever walk in on a conversation? Oh, boy. And see what's going on. <laughs> what's, what, what are we talking about? Are you going to join it? Oh, my goodness. Positive or negative? And, and, and give an input? Oh. No. Huh. Let's not be embarrassed. Oh, that's it. What about you, positive or negative? Huh. We can do this. Mm. Hey, you know, this is our company. This is our business. We can do all things through Christ. Amen. Amen. You know, we, we got to come together as a team. We got to come together as co-workers, you know, and do this. Hallelujah. Praise God. Go to the next one. Here we go. We're going to the spies. And then come back uh, mm -hmm. with uh, proof. 
everything in there is huge, <laughs> including the giants, the giant webs. <laughs> uh, if you go all the way to the end and show them a picture of the 12, 12 spots, all the way oh to the gosh. end, 12 you're, spots. You're, you're, you're like this. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a picture of the 12th spot. Alright, oh, I need to take it off. Oh gosh. Alright, Joshua. We kind of talked about this uh, last week. But Joshua. In the giant wall of Jericho. Uh-huh. You can find it. I know it's on there. There you go. Thank you. Lord told Joshua, see, I have delivered Jericho into your hands. See, he told uh, Moses, I've already given you the promised land. Uh -huh. He told Joshua, yeah. I have delivered Jericho into your hands, mm -hmm. along with its kings and its fighting men. Mm -hmm. He says, march around the city once mm -hmm. with all the armed men. Mm -hmm. Do this six, six days. On the Sabbath day, have the priests carry the trumpets, uh, a ram horns in front of uh, the ark. On the Sabbath day, uh, march around the city seven times and the priests blow the trumpet mm -hmm. when they hear them sound a long blast on the trumpets have the whole army give a shout mm -hmm. then the walls of Jericho will collapse and the armies will go in wow. and everyone yeah. straight in mm -hmm. <laughs> what kind of battle plan is this <laughs> God's <laughs> God's plan is yes. better than our plan okay? we can go beat on that wall <laughs> It ain't coming down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when we do it his way, yes. even though it may not sound right, <laughs> it's God's plan is yes. better than yours. So you yes. have your plan and his. <laughs> so you let go of your plan. <laughs> Don't say, here's my plan, Lord, bless it. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> no. This is your plan for me. Uh -huh. It's already blessed. So yes. go with his plan. Amen. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where were we? Oh God! So it, it, the walls come down. Yes, they do. When the, uh, the trumpet sounds, the army shout, and they went in. Yes, everything, they did. everything, everything. The Lord told them to do was destroyed. Mm -hmm. Yes. It says men, women, young and old, yes. cattle, sheep, donkeys, everything. Yes. So praise God. Do it His way. What's impossible for men is possible through God. Amen. Yes. 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 That's right. And the word impossible. If you separate it with the I am, mm. I am possible. Yes. Amen. Through him, Amen. I am possible. Praise you are God. possible to Amen. do it through him. Amen. Hallelujah. Go to the next one. Next Thank one. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Woo. What do we see? Yes. There was these three Hebrew children. Mm -hmm. They were thrown in the furnace. If you notice, at the bottom, yeah. the people that threw them in mm -hmm. were killed. Yes. They died. It was so hot. They make it. Super Twice. hot. Super uh -huh. hot. Super uh -huh. hot. And you can see. Mm -hmm. And they're watching. They're right they're seeing. They're watching this. Mm -hmm. And say, wait a minute. We two, three children in here. Mm -hmm. But we see four. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know when God sends you <laughs> and you go like David did and not back down. Mm -hmm. He is with you. Yeah. And when yeah. those enemies Always. see you, they see Somebody else. Yeah. He is with you. He says he never leaves you, don't forsake you. That's right. He's always with you. Yes. So if you're feeling uh, lonely, if you're feeling uh, uh, all by yourself, mm. just know he's there. Yes. You just got to talk. It says, are you there? Mm -hmm. He'll say, yes, I'm here. Remember the footprint on the uh -huh. sand? Yes. You think oh, that yeah. you're carrying all the weight. Uh -huh. You're carrying all the weight because you forgot to cast it on him because right. he says, give it to me. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. And he, he felt like he was doing it all by yourself. He says, "No, mm -hmm. that one single prayer is that was me carrying you." Amen. Yes. He does that a lot. Yes. <laughs> he does praise that a lot. God. Praise Thank God, God. Amen. So they're watching. And they say, "Wow, we see we see four now." Praise God. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like this one. Go to the next one. Mm. In Second Kings, chapter six. Uh -huh. uh, verse 15 through uh, 18 we'll talk about this it says Elijah had a, was camped out and he had, took his servant with him and uh, mm -hmm. the king heard about the prophet so he said 
horses and chariots and a great, great, great army yeah. <laughs> there, he wanted Elijah. Mm -hmm. So they came <laughs> by night and surrounded the city. Mm -hmm. And when the servant got up the next morning, early, early next morning, he went out yeah. and he saw the armies surrounding the city. Yeah. <laughs> he said, oh my God, what are we going to do? He was afraid. Yeah. And he goes inside and he tells his master, Master, we are surrounded. surrounded. There's an army all around us. <laughs> what are we going to do? You ever find yourself? Huh. Don't know what are we going to do? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, Elijah says, Ah, uh, He goes out, checks it out. He says, Do not fear. Those that are with us are more than those that are against us. What are you, what, what are you talking about? Those that are with us are more than those that are against us. I said, you need a drug test. I don't know what you've been drinking, but... Uh, Oh gosh. I just I just I just checked up here mm -hmm. and uh, I know what I saw. Mm -hmm. So church, this is what I want to ask you is whose report will you believe? Mm -hmm. That's right. We need to re re believe the report of the Lord. What is the report of the Lord says? Mm -hmm. No matter what, remember, believe the report of the Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. So Elijah says, Elijah prayed and says, Lord. Open his eyes. Yes. Open his eyes so he can see. Amen. And the Lord opened his eyes of the young man, and he was able to see. Yes. And behold, the mountains were full. <coughs> you see the slide. The mountains were full of horses and chariots of fire, yes. as all around Elijah. Mm -hmm. So when the Assyrians came down to him, mm -hmm. Elijah prayed and asked the Lord to strike the people with blindness. Oh wow. And God struck him blind. <laughs> Check it out. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ask the Lord to open your spiritual eyes so you can yes. see into the spirit realm. Yes. Amen. And he was able to Elijah the Lord out of his prayer and open his the servant's eyes so he could see there's more with us than against yes. us. Just think if you could see into the spirit world for a second. Mm -hmm. You could see. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Thanks God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like David, Joshua, Caleb, we should know that facing the giants should point us to God and not away from God. Amen. Amen. We need to be focused on Him, spend time with Him. Yes. He is our answer. Yes. He is our answer for our giant, giant struggles. When you face your giants, know we have the power to face it. There will be no... Hiding, no running, no quitting, no fears, mm -hmm. no drugs, no alcohol <laughs> right. can hide you from your giants. Yeah. Because right. when you come back from your hide, mm -hmm. you these problems are still going to be there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You can't, right. can't run from them. Deal with them now. Yeah, just like right. David did. He says, mm -hmm. you're no match to me. You're no match to my God. Mm -hmm. I don't care how big you are. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Face them and stand against them. Yes. Your giants, just like David, know your God by having a relationship with Him. If you know your God and you know who's backing you, you know nothing is impossible. You can do all things. Amen. The odds may be against you, but the Bible says, greater is He that is in me than He that is in the world. We got to know this. David knew this. Yeah. He was ready. He'd been tested yes. by the bear, by the lion. Yeah. The world brings big giants, Come problems, but no problem is bigger than your God. You got to be convinced and know in your spirit, knowing for yourself that nothing out there is bigger than your God. Take your slingshot, hmm. put the word to it, hmm. and just fire like a missile into your giants. Amen. Confess Amen. the word. Your giant problems may tower above everything, but God is able. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. This is a challenge of the day. The Philistine giant come down and says, This day I defy the ranks of Israel. Give me a man, 
a man mm -hmm. and let him fight mm -hmm. with me. Amen. He said, let's go mano a mano contigo. <laughs> send, you, <laughs> send, send your best hombre. Come on. <laughs> the odds were against David. Yeah. But he said, send your best men. Mm -hmm. And they sent a boy. Mm -hmm. That was his baby's like. Because while he's laughing, uh -huh. David fires a shot. Yeah. It was right between his eyes. Uh -huh. Amen. Well, <laughs> our Goliath doesn't carry a sword, a shield, or wears armor. Our Goliath comes to us as mm. unemployment, uh -huh. rejection, wow. abandonment, abuse, yep. alcohol, bad company, bad habits, bad everything. No, Debts, depression, mm -hmm. failures, pornography, mm -hmm. all these things. Mm -hmm. These giants are coming against you on a daily, daily, daily basis. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just got to know. And as you spend time with him, you're able to know yes. your enemies. Amen. Identify your enemies. Yes. <laughs> Do you see and hear from God during the day? You have to. Does he talk to you? He talks to me at work all the time. Mm. Some of the best messages he's given me, I was at work. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wasn't sitting in the office all day with <laughs> an open Bible. Sometimes I'm driving somewhere and he's talking to me. Mm -hmm. You got to have open communication. Yes, mm -hmm. amen. Amen. I mean, talk to him. He'll talk to you. Mm -hmm. Feed on the word mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Feed on his word. Uh, renew your mind. Yes. Get the world out. Uh -huh. Amen. Crucify your flesh. Mm -hmm. Speak faith your words. Have a relationship with him. Amen. Speak to him. Mm -hmm. Speak to your giants. Don't let your giants speak to you. That's right. David showed up. Listen, David showed up. His father sent him, just bring lunch uh -huh. to your brothers. That's all I want you to do. Uh -huh. They put him as a shepherd with the sheep because mm -hmm. he's too small. The world would not see what's in you. Mm -hmm. Even Jesse, the father, did not see what God saw in David. That's right. That's right. So, yeah. yeah. The father didn't even see that. Mm -hmm. So, they put him as a little shepherd. Mm -hmm. All the mature ones know better. Mm -hmm. But when David, <laughs> when David shows up, yeah, <laughs> David shows up, brings lunch. David first discussed was, <laughs> Lord, who is this giant? Who is this uncircumcised right. Philistine That's that right. defiles the armies of the living God? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I mean, Jesse sent David to bring lunch. Yeah. King Saul, listen, King Saul and the soldiers mentioned nothing about God. Mm -hmm. All the talk was about the battle, yeah. about the odds, uh -huh. and about the problem, yeah. and about the giant. Uh -huh. But none of them talked about God till David showed up. Yeah. You talk about the little guy. Mm -mm. He's not big enough for the world to do anything. Mm -mm. Or he may not be qualified to do anything according to the world. Right. Mm -hmm. But God mm -hmm. is the one and it's called to you. That's right. Equipped you. Yes. And approved of you. Yes. So no matter who says what, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. You got to know. And you got to be strong enough to, to do it. Yes. King Saul and the soldiers never mentioned anything about God. All the talk was about the problem and the giant. Mm -hmm. David made this godly announcement. He says, <laughs> The Lord who delivered me from the paws of the lion and the paws of the bear will deliver me from the hands of this Philistine. Yes. Amen. Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. That's right. You need to know. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got problems in Bokeh. I've got problems <laughs> over in Billy or wherever. Uh, what's the other ones? Norias. Norias. <laughs> but my God delivered me from yes. all Amen. And he's going to send me Lord. for that. And he's going to send me. And we're going to keep going. Yes. Because greater is he that sent me than he that sent the world. I don't care what giants come against us. If God, my God is for me, uh -huh. we're going to have a truck. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to send a truck. <laughs> and we're going to get a reason to my yes. God is providing for us. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Woo, Thank hallelujah. You, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Listen, no one else discussed mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. David mm -hmm. was the only one yeah. 
Yes. That started talking about. Yeah. Only you may discuss or bring up God in your family, uh -huh. in your job, in whatever situation. Mm -hmm. But don't be ashamed to say, Yes. My God is able. Yes, He is. My God is able. Mm -hmm. He's seen me through Bokitas. He's seen me through Las Norias. And He's seen me through all these things. And He's going to see me all the way to wherever God sends me. Yes. Amen. 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 You are somebody. Don't let yes. nobody tell you. You're no good. You're not qualified. I've been qualified by the best. <laughs> and I can do all things through Christ. No matter what they say, I'm going to say the right thing. I'm going to yeah. confess the right word. Yeah. Amen. I'm not going to start talking like them. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Are you God focused or are you giant focused? Mm, that's good. Are you God focused or are you problem focused? Because most of the time, the world is focused on the yes. problems because yes. that's all they talk about is the problems. You turn your TV on, you turn your media oh, on, you turn wow. everything on, and all there is is, is a problem. Mm -hmm. You got to renew your mind to the Word of God. You got to renew your mind so you can be God focused mm -hmm. at all times. Amen. Because that's the only thing that's going to send you through. Yes. Don't let your God, <laughs> don't tell your God how big your problem is. Uh -huh. Tell your problem how big your God is. Yes. Amen. Yes. This is this is daily, and you know you get around people, and that's all they're talking about. So you gotta be careful who you bring what yes. to, because no matter what you tell somebody, their problem is bigger than yours. Oh my goodness! Oh, yeah. so, Jesus. You can't ever talk to anybody if somebody's always <laughs> above. Them. Oh, that's nothing. Let me tell you. Let me tell you this one. <laughs> it's always the biggest problem. Who's got the biggest problem? And you know what? They always come with. A daily report. They come with a testimony all the time. Yeah. You know, let you know, hey, I can top that one now. <laughs> and they look at the top, the last one. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got a bigger God. I don't have to go through that. Hey, I just got to know that all eyes were on the giant of David. Uh -huh. David's battle cry <clears throat> should be our battle cry as well. Yes. Since yeah. you come to me with the sword and the spear and with the javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, of God, yeah. the armies of Israel. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Praise God. So listen, mm. I don't know if you've ever done this before, but David hurries and runs towards the armies to meet the Philistine. Yes. Yeah. He yeah. runs to him. He stops by a brook. He picks up five smooth stones. Mm -hmm. Some say that's the first five books of the law. Some say Goliath had Four other brothers. Yeah. So bring on the brothers. <laughs> I'm gonna knock you down and you bring the brothers. And I got stones for you too. <laughs> so whatever giant problem is facing you, I got a stone for you. Really I got some stone together. <laughs> they say the brook, the running brook, represent the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That's the living water. Yes. This is just what they say. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sounds good. Hallelujah. We're not going to finish this. <laughs> That's all right. Says, do you run to meet your giants? Huh. Or do they run you? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> do you run from them? <laughs> so David, the battle belongs to the Lord. Yes, David's yes. brothers cover their, cover their eyes in fear and embarrassment. Huh. Says, who are you? I'm in for my brother. Oh, oh man, don't tell nobody that's my brother. That's, that's my brother. Oh, my God. Saul signs here and chills loudly as David uh, races to, to, to his death. That's what they saw. A little boy going up against these giant things. This giant. Forget it. Just, you know, whatever. He's going to die. Listen, and Goliath was mad because you sent a boy to do a, a man's job. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> he says, while well, he's laughing and throws his head back in laughter, just enough to shift the helmet on his head and expose his forehead. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Shoot! There goes the missile mm -hmm. right between his eyes mm -hmm. and his forehead. He falls face first. Mm -hmm. David runs again, mm -hmm. takes his sword. Yes. Says the stone torpedoes into his skull. Mm, mm, mm. Goliath, eyes crossed and his legs buckle, he crumbles to the ground and dies. David mm. runs over, mm. yanks the 
Goliath's sword mm, mm, mm. and cuts his hair off. Yes. Yes. yes, he does. David knew how to get ahead of <laughs> <laughs> But he knew how to get ahead. We need to know how to get ahead. Greater is he than he is in the world. Amen. Praise God. But so we got it. Amen. <laughs> when was the last time you did this? How long since you ran the challenge, uh, meet your challenge, uh -huh. fortune challenge? We tend to retreat, hide behind a desk at work, uh -huh. or crawl into a nightclub full of distractions, uh -uh. or into a bed of forbidden love. For a woman or a day or a year, we feel safe. Mm. But then the word runs out, the liquor wears off, mm. and the lovers leaves. And we hear Goliath, our giant again, booming and roaring. Yeah. It's just a losing cycle over mm. and over again until you stop it yeah. and do the right thing. Amen. Amen. Right. You got to do the right thing. Amen. Otherwise, it's just going to be recycled. Yes. And we talked about insanity. Mm. It's doing the same thing over and over and expecting mm. different results. Yeah. Praise God. Try a different approach. Rest your giant. Be God focused. Magnify God and minimize your giant. Mm. Speak the word to God, of God to your giants. Yes. Mm -hmm. Giants of divorce are not entering my marriage. Amen. Giants of depression. I do not receive you. Amen. Giants of death, leave in Jesus' name. Yes. Giants of sickness, I resist you in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Say this. I won't be conquered. I won't be conquered. Because I am more than a conqueror. Because yes. I am more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Giants of alcohol, bigotry, abuse, and security. You are going down. Amen. Yes. How long since you loaded your sling and took uh. a, a swing at your giants? You know what? Giants need to come down in your life. You need to change it. Use your authority. Yeah. Amen. Use your authority. Use the yeah. word of God to change your situation. Yeah. Our situations may differ. Yeah. You know, what bothers, what comes against you may not hurt me, but it hurts you. Mm -hmm. Okay? I don't have that problem. And what I have, you may not have. But still, we got to face our giants. And attack our giants with the word of God. Yes. That's the only way to do it. Yes. Thank you. What did God see in David? David felt as often as he stood. He stumbled as often as he conquered. He stared down Goliath and he started to fall to Bathsheba. He couldn't lead. He could lead armies, but he couldn't manage his own family. Yeah. Raging David, weeping David, bloodthirsty David, God hungry David. Mm -hmm. He says he's a man after my heart. Yes. So you know what? Some of us have fallen. Some of us have sinned. But all you have to do is admit it, quit it, confess it, get it out, mm -hmm. and press on. Amen. Yes. Don't hang out Amen. and say, well, somebody said, hey, God can't use me anymore mm -hmm. because I sinned one time. Mm -hmm. That's a big lie. Mm -hmm. You're not reading the Word. you got to get back in the Word and read mm -hmm. what it says. Because if you confess, he said, when you come to Jesus mm -hmm. and you accepted Jesus, you became a new creature in Christ. Yes, amen. And you went from sinning, from, from a sinner to a child of God. Amen. So he's not going to throw you out. That's right. So you're going to be perfect. He's not looking for perfect people. He's looking for available people. Amen. But he's also looking for repentant people. Yes. You say, Lord, I've sinned. I'm sorry. And he says he'll forgive you so many times, right? No. He'll forgive you every time. Every time. But you got to get it out. You got to get it out of you. Clean yourself. Your body's a temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Get it out. Confess it. Admit it. Quit it. And press on with Him. Amen. He's not finished with you until He calls you home. That's right. If He puts you on a mission, you're going to be on this mission until you go home. Mm. So don't quit and don't let nobody tell you different. Only hear what the Word of God says. Yes. If the Word of God says different than what so and so says, mm. Forget about what so and so says yeah. and press on That's with it. what the word of God says. Yeah. And it's too many people going by the wayside mm -hmm. because of somebody says something. 
that was not even the scriptural mm -hmm. or what the word of God said. Yeah. So we got to get and do what the word of God says. Amen. After removing Saul, he made king, he made David yes. the king. Yes. God testified concerning him. He says, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. Mm -hmm. He will do everything <laughs> I want him to do. Yes. Remember what, how uh, the prophet came mm. to pick the next king of Israel mm. and came to Jesse's house. <laughs> I'm coming to your house because mm. the next king of Israel in Marfa is from your house. <laughs> so he brings all his sons out. Mm -hmm. Jesse brings all his Jesse, Jesse <laughs> battle qualified sons of Jesse. Uh -huh. And he sent them all through. The prophet says, nope. Nope, 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 nope. So he finally says, is there another one? Oh yeah, but he's just a little shepherd boy out there. That's what the world says about you. That's what the enemy says about you. You're nobody. Until he finds out you're full yes. of God and you're somebody. <laughs> he said, oh yeah, he's just bothersome, my little son. You know, he's, he's out there he's taking out care there. of sheep. Bring him out. God says, that's him. Uh -huh. That's you. I've called you. Yes. You see yourself. God says, I picked you. Uh -huh. Every one of you. Yeah. I picked you. It's the same point. I picked you. So when God picked you, I don't care what the world says. I don't care what the report is. Mm -hmm. God has picked you. And you're going to fulfill what God's Amen. called you to do. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Lord. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to stop there. And uh, just know that if God is for you, who can be against you? Amen. Know that he's picked you. And whatever you do, wherever your mission field is, be with him. He wants to be with you and share with him. Share, share him with others. Amen. You know, when he says do it, do it, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, praise God. Uh, we can't all do the same thing. That's but right. wherever you happen to be, that's the place he wants you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. No, we talked about this, bloom what God says to you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not trying to bloom at somebody else's place. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be, go over and take somebody else's spot. Mm -hmm. I just want to bloom where God has me. Amen. Amen. And that's what he wants Praise to do God. with you. Wherever you are, Lord, I'm yours. Yes. Praise God. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for your precious word, Father God. Let it come and penetrate, Father God. And let it uh, minister to us, Father God. Change us, Lord. Change us to be what you want us to be. Yes. Lord, thank, thank you, you for Lord. Little David's to come out in this, Father God. Yes. And uh, conquering giants in this world for you, Father God. And we just give you all the praise going on. And those of you that are watching, if you never accepted Jesus, now is the time. Just say, Father, forgive me of my sins. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And then you go and you find you a church that is alive Amen. and worth to drive and is Amen. teaching the Word of God. Amen. And you have sickness in your body. Just say, Father, I just laid hands on myself and by Jesus stripes, I am healed. healed. Hallelujah. Thank By the stripes of Jesus, I am yes. healed. Praise God. So praise God. Be blessed. And we'll see you later today. Amen. Praise God. Amen.